Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty. Welcome back to the Cosmic Royal family. How are you guys doing? Up that you guys are doing amazing. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you guys are returning, welcome back, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into this energy here, y'all. There's somebody who wants you to wait for them. This person wants you to wait. They're saying that they're gonna be returning to you. But they just need you to wait for them. Tell me about this person who want the collective to wait for them. Yeah, this person is effed up over you. This person is all over the place, over over you guys collective. Mentally, mentally messed up over you guys. Why is this person effed up over the collective? Why are they mentally effed up over the collective? Fed up. Yeah, because you got fed up with this person's behavior. Yeah, you got fed up with this person's in and out energy. Playing mind games with you, playing with your heart. Not being consistent, not being truthful, not being honest. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, you grew to have like a love-hate relationship with this person. You grew to love and hate them at the same time. What was this person's problem? What was this person's problem, Holy Spirit? What was this person's problem? <clears throat> Queen B energy. This person was insecure. This person was insecure collective. They felt lower than you, smaller than you. Tell me more. Tell me more. And also someone could have been doing some type of love magic, a divine feminine in reverse energy here who wanted to sit on the queen be thrown. They, so a, a, a false, a karmic feminine who desperately wanted to be known as a divine feminine uh, could have did some type of love spell. They did some type of love spell because they, want, they wanted your position. They wanted this queen bee. They wanted to be the queen bee. Tell me more. <clears throat> Yeah, sex addiction. So sex magic. So this spell kind of played into your person's already weaknesses and addictions, which was which was sex collective. That's what it was. This person had a sex addiction. Yeah. They could have even went so far as to having a family with this person. Building a family with this person. Yeah, a karmic lesson. This was a karmic lesson. If this your person feel like they feel like shit. They do for, for how they treated you, for how they treated the queen bee. Yeah, this could have been your divine masculine energy here who's pleading, pleading for you energetically. Same word. This karmic could have knew that your person had a sex addiction. And that's what they went with. That's what they ran with. So they was doing stuff with this masculine that was kind of low vibrational. Yeah, happily single, doing you, dating, stress-free, setting goals, career focus. This divine masculine, see that you guys are happy single right now. Yeah, and they feel like this is a loss because you're happy single. You're good without this person here. You guys are getting dharma while this person's getting karma. They're experiencing a lot of endings in their life. I heard, I wish I never met her. Even though. Yeah, this person wished they never met this karmic. They view this person as a psycho. Yeah, look at this. Massive regret. They wish they never met this third party. Oh my God, they wish they never met her. So they also could have received some type of shocking news of this you could have got some type of shocking news. What was the shocking news? Wow. Mirroring in reverse. Some type of mirror magic didn't work. This karmic received some type of shocking news that some type of mirror magic or some type of beauty magic or something didn't work. Some type of love spell could be wearing off and that this person still loves you. They could have found this out through getting some type of reading. 
Yeah, they found this out through getting a reading that this person is in love with you still. I never got over you. Yeah, this person not never got over you. This, they're heartbroken as well. Yeah, they don't want to say goodbye. But they're ashamed. They're ashamed at their behavior and how you view them now. Because it's they can't change how you view them now like you actually see them for who they really were and they don't want to be that way no more they're not the same man or the same woman that they used to be but you already see what they like what they presented you already saw their true colors so it ain't no coming back they feel this person is they feel like they're also stuck on a karmic cycle all over some reckless sex yeah i'm telling you it could be a child or something, something, something um, got this person stuck on a, on a cycle with this karmic, you know, I feel like something was conceived. I feel like a baby was conceived for some of you guys while they was on this cycle with this person here of reckless, reckless intercourse. And this is why they feel like it's too late. This is why they feel like it's too late. Tell me more. Yeah. They were living a false fairy tale with this third party. They were living a false fairy tale. Tell me more. Secrets crossing. Yep. And what's crossing this connection is secrets. What is what is hidden? What they're afraid that something is gonna come out. This person's losing sleep over some things that they did when they were out here being shady. Finding out that this third party was also wearing a mask as well. They're losing sleep over what what was what was exposed. This person, okay, so this the karmic don't. They're trying their best to keep something from being illuminated. They're trying their best to keep something. It did come out in reverse. They're trying their best to, to keep something from being illuminated to your person. But it's kind of like karmic justice for something to come out. The police may actually have to be called collective as well. When this truth come out, tell me more. Yeah, bumping heads. Pregnancy test. There it is. There it is. Fake news. Somebody's person is going to find out that a baby is not theirs and they're going to be fighting and the police is going to be called about this. And meanwhile, you know, you guys are like running or they want to run away from this karmic. They're going to make a dash for it. They're going to try to run away from this karmic situation here, cut ties. But this karmic is going to try to make it very, very hard for them to cut ties and get away. Yeah. Your person could be experiencing block calls and scam calls from this third party right now because they don't want nothing else to do with them. With no strings attached, this third party is trying to like sweet talk them into coming back. Yeah, they ghosted this person. They ghosted this third party once they found out that a child wasn't theirs or that this, this karmic was really out for themselves. Tell me more. Yeah, y'all need to trust y'all intuition. Your person wish that they would have trusted their intuition and waited on divine time and they're realizing that no one compares to you. Yeah, it says no one has ever made me feel the way you do. You're irreplaceable. You guys are irreplaceable. And see, now this person is feel like, you know, they're tired of pretending and wearing a mask with this third party. So they're about to ghost them. It says, I'm pretending to be happy and that all is fine, but I'm miserable. They are miserable with this person here. and But this person is like trying not to lose hope. They don't want you guys to lose hope as well, but ultimately they know that the choice is yours. But they're willing to do whatever they have to do so that you can't escape them. They don't want, to, they don't want you to get away again, collective. But they know they left you waiting. I've been slow to return, but maybe it's because I know you will be waiting. Yeah, but this person lost. With their desire to win, they did this to kind of like dominate over the situation and they lost anyway. Yeah, this player, they lost. They they intentionally kept you guys waiting to kind of like control the narrative and control the situation. Ultimately, they end up losing the most valuable thing, the most valuable gift, and that's you. They lost you and that's really you. They wanted you more than anything else. But they wasn't ready to stop being a player at that time. And they wanted to win, but they end up losing with desire to win in reverse. Yeah, some of you guys feel like it's not the right time and this person felt like it wasn't the right time. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. This whole situation has this person mentally messed up. 
right now. They don't want to lose you. They definitely want you to wait on them. Yeah, they're worried. Yeah, because this person now, like, they know that this is true love. And this person is, like, realizing that you, you may not want to have a family with them anymore. <clears throat> or, like, if you had a family with them, they could have lost their family forever because they made a reckless choice to run behind a false promise or some type of fake illusion. This person feels helpless because they got themselves caught up and committed to somebody who they, they don't even love with commitment and helpless. Yeah, they're just overthinking. I think they committed to this person and they feel trapped. They're definitely overthinking this whole thing. This person is driving themselves crazy. Yeah, because they want to reconcile with you. They want to reconcile with you, but they're, they don't know if they're going to be able to break free and divorce from this person here. If they marry them, they're afraid they're not going to be able to divorce them. Why is that? They want to avoid some type of drama, but they know like this is worth waiting for. They want you to wait on them. Yeah, they, you've changed this person forever. Like they they feel like they owe the man or the woman that they are now to you. And it's like I heard they don't they feel like nobody else deserves to experience the heal and evolve version of them besides you because you're the one that made the most sacrifices, went through the most in order for them to evolve. So they feel like the karma that they're with don't deserve to experience a healed version of them. You do. So it's kind of like they want you to experience, there it is, lessons. I'm learning my divine lessons and will soon be by your side. Yeah, enough is enough. They feel like it's enough is enough pretending with that person here. You're their divine partner. That you're the one, you're the love of the, the man or the woman of their life. And they're ready to move on from this other situation here. But they feel like nobody else deserves, nobody deserves to um, experience the healed version of them. Because they feel like, you know, they just kind of feel like it's not fair. It wouldn't be fair. They feel like you, you, you need to be the one to experience that. This person I heard, I'm sorry I didn't choose you. Yeah, I choose you and undecided. I, I'm sorry I didn't choose you. This person feels bad for not choosing you. And trying to take it slow with you. Because they wanted to date around. They feel bad about that. Alright. Let's pull. Because now they want you. But they feel like they can't have you. I'm putting on an act to get what I want. So they are over here putting on an act with this karmic. Please take my call. And let's forget the past and start over. So they're putting on a front over there with them. I'm only here to help I'm only here to help you heal those parts of yourself you've been ignoring for so long trust the process yeah so you you was to help, you was there to help this person to heal I'm allowing the universe to show me the way if it's meant to be it will be so now this person is trying to trust in divine trust in divine timing soon I'm going to sweep you off your feet I want to win your heart yeah this person is like determined to win your heart back over Give me another one. Thank you. I'm going to compromise this time and hope we can find a resolution. Yeah. We need a resolution. We need a resolution. Tell me more. It is in your hands if you want to see us move forward, but I've done my part. It's your turn. So you just feel like, you know, you did what you were supposed to do. Yeah, you've lost patience with this person here. You've moved on. You feel like the ball is in this person's court. I need to focus on my family right now. They need me. Dating you would be too difficult. And see, this is why this person had committed to somebody who either has kids or they started a family with this person, but they're truly not happy. We can build an empire together and be a power couple that, that involves um, that everyone envies. Yeah, you, this, you and this person could have been, a, they're not a power couple with this karmic. They would have been a power couple with you. You guys would have been, like I said, building empires and legacies together. You would have been the, the couple that everybody envies. Nobody envies them with this karmic. Nobody. Not in the right state of mind, but I might just make an impulsive move. So this person's going to make some type of impulsive move, even though they feel like they don't have it all the way together. I don't care what people say anymore. I'm ready to fight for our relationship. Please take my call and let's start over. 
Yeah, this person, I'm going to pop in and out of your life whenever I please. And that's what you're fearing. You're fearing that they're going to pop in and out. Like they're not going to be there, you know, permanently. I want to get to know you better before I make a final decision. You feel like you have to re-get to know this person. You feel like you don't really know them. I'm going to give you a taste of your own medicine. They also feeling like you're going to give them a taste of their own medicine. That's something that this person is fearful of um, as well. Let me get um, some final words. They feel like you, you may do them the way that they did you. Yeah, you feel like this person isn't telling the truth. But um, yeah, you feel like this person isn't telling the truth and, and that they're stalking you. Some of y'all, this person is stalking you because they don't know if they can speak some type of truth to you or not. Watchful, obsessive, hidden, sneaky. Yeah, may evil, may every evil eye go blind. This could be the third party here that's stalking you, evil, evil eyeing you, just obsessively watching you. Wanting to come in and speak some type of lie to you about your person. I feel like you may know this with the crow energy, mysterious intelligence. You have some type of a lot of spiritual gifts or you have a lot of connections with the spirit realm. Cheater, twin flames. This could be your twin flame, unfinished love story. So I'm getting that there's a third party who want to tell you something about your person here. They want to paint them out to be a um, like a cheater or something. But I mean, you probably already look at your person as a cheater. Somebody want to like, or you could view your person as a cheater and a liar. All right. But if this is a twin flame connection, you guys definitely have like an unfinished love story. Yeah. This person is in love with you. They just didn't want to hear you out in the past when you were trying to speak some type of truth to them about this sewer maiden energy here. You were trying to tell this person about this karmic, this nasty energy. This, this, this person has a rotten foul spirit. You was trying to tell them they didn't want to listen to you. Yeah, this person was a sucker for love. Like they could have been in love with this, with the sewer maiden. This so ain't my business. They're haunted by their decisions, though. For real. Yup, look at that. They burnt the bridge with you for the sewer maiden. That's what they did. They burnt the bridge with you for a nasty, decaying, foul energy. Someone who mis misled them. A filthy feminine energy. That's who they burnt the bridge bridge with you for. This person was a sucker, a sucker for this karmic. And they put up all these roadblocks. Our spirit put these roadblocks up. Now this person is needing some type of shelter. They need some type of help. Yeah, they, they feel like a sitting duck collective. They feel very vulnerable right now. Like this person feels trapped to their circumstances. I heard left out to dry. This person feel, uh, somebody left your person out to hang. Or they feel like you're going to leave them out to dry because that's what they did to you. Strong tongue. Whatever you spoke to this person was the truth. Yeah. It says, possessing a powerful gift of prophecy, this individual can speak and can speak events into existence over others' lives with words that manifest destiny. They must wield their ability with care and wisdom, mindful of the impact of their speech. So you, you, you told the truth. You saw what was going on. You revealed these secrets that was hidden from your person about this third party. They didn't want to believe you. Yeah. Now all they want to do is make peace with you and cut the cords with this third party. They don't want to have this standoff energy with you no more. They actually want to see eye to eye with you. They want to be on, um, on even playing fields with you. They want to be teammates with you. let's give me a few more messages i'm gonna wrap this up yeah see everything that glitters it's not gold collected this person got played this was definitely an illusion they fell for the okie doke collective yeah and now some things are changing there's been a change in the wind something changed and they saw this karmic's true colors they're realizing that all that glitters is not gold give me another message yep this person was stuck in between worlds. They want to step out of this dark side and come over here to this healing energy. They want to send you some type of message with message in a bottle. Yeah, this person is lost in their emotions here. Because all they want to do is mend this situation with you. They want to rebuild the connection. 
this seems like a never ending story between you and this person here. So you and this person has re have went through many cycles of the same thing in past lives. It's always the same thing. Yeah, and some of you guys are just resting right now with time for a nap energy. Yeah, because you're at peace. You guys are at peace. You're you're blessed. Okay, and this person view you as home. This is why they're like, no, it's time to go. I gotta go. I gotta I gotta make this change and I gotta get back to my person. I gotta get back to the collective. Yeah, this this time this person knows that they have to be by the book with you guys. They're gonna have to work together and time is ticking. This person is like literally walking on thin ice. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comment section how it resonated. Peace.